What's going on you guys? We're back with another vlog. So this week's vlog, I'm gonna work on the engine bay. Uh, for the longest time I've been kind of um, bothered a little bit by the, I guess the powder coating, especially the wrinkle black. Um, on my coolant uh, tank reservoir, um, originally it started out as like black black and it's absolutely beautiful, right? Uh, but the only problem with wrinkle black is, or just powder coating in general, is they don't take heat very well and they change color. And over time, I've had it for a couple of years now, and the wrinkle black on the reservoir uh, kind of like almost like a gray. It's not noticeable if it's by itself, but when you have other components that are powder coated, it starts to change uh, or it starts to be more pronounced or uh, you see it more. Uh, but I'll show you, come on. All right guys, so as you can see now in the camera, the coolant reservoir is actually a lot more gray uh, color. It wasn't as noticeable when I had it by itself. And uh, now that I have the intake manifold and the uh, inner cooler piping at the time, uh, these two did match up and this one was more pronounced as a different color. Um, so I've been meaning to do something about it. I saw my friend doing ceramic coating on his, uh, his truck and uh, I remember him putting it on his bush bar. His bush bars were like, it's uh, powder coated like mine and it looked like beautiful. It looked like nice and lush. Uh, it had that almost like a wet look to it, but it wasn't wet because it's ceramic coating, right? So I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? I think it would be a good idea to see if it works on, uh, on the GTR here. And if it does, it's, it's gonna look good. And it will look good at the car shows. And you don't want to tire dress or put tire dressing. You know, there's a lot of cheats that you can do, but the only problem is you cheat. It'll look good at the moment, but when you do, uh, especially on daily drivers, if you drive or you live in like Alberta like us, where it's really, really dusty and dry, it's gonna, that tire dressing stuff is a dust magnet. And it's so greasy and it gets on everything. So let's see if this works, you guys. Let's, uh, let's get started. I'm gonna prep it up and I'll put you guys on the GoPro and let's get started. So the product that uh, he used and uh, that we're gonna use today is C-Quartz by CarPro. Uh, I'm pretty sure any other reputable brand um, ceramic coat will work, but uh, the one that I'm using particularly is C-Quartz. Uh, hopefully it works. So again, it's C Quartz, and uh, I found the part numbers down here. Hopefully you can see there. And uh, let's open up the box. It is used. Uh, my friend just gave it to me, and I don't think I need a whole lot of it. So I'm just going to use my own microfiber here. And uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot left. And I'm just going to pour some on, and then uh, should be. Uh, rub on and uh, I think it uh, worked quite well looked so good on his car anyway so but so I'm gonna try it on some of the uh, small areas first just in case it uh, kind of screws up everything but oh well bad you can notice the difference there and I don't know if you can see this see the difference in the two colors there it has a little bit more of a lust so I might try a couple of coats and uh, uh, hopefully it turns out so I'm gonna put the camera down and then I'm gonna switch you guys to the GoPro
All right, guys. So it's uh, it's definitely noticeable for sure that uh, ceramic coating does make a big difference. It is a lot more darker, even with under this LED lighting here, kind of makes it everything kind of grayish color. But yeah, it's it's definitely noticeable. Hopefully, you guys uh, saw it when I uh, put the first layer on the half of the uh, uh, coolant reservoir here, and the other half you can notice it was like two different colors. But yeah, definitely, uh, I definitely recommend it, you guys. Um, do it when you install it, uh, the coolant tank, and then put it, uh, and then install it because it's much easier to coat the uh, uh, the uh, powder coating. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the uh, intake manifold now. Here's a better angle if you notice the part that I did here and there's the side that I didn't coat. What a big difference. And that's the look that I'm trying to get at. So if you guys noticed in the uh, clip I just showed earlier, big, big difference. So all I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna let it dry and I'm gonna blow off all the little bits of uh, microfiber. Uh, I thought I was gonna use the microfiber and then avoid this kind of situation, but uh, the wrinkle black on the manifold is a lot more coarse than the uh, uh, reservoir here. So uh, it didn't leave as much here, but on there you can see it's pretty bad. But I was just going to use an air hose, let it dry off, and then uh, blow it all off, and it should be, uh, be uh, perfect, you guys. All right, so that was a pretty quick video, you guys, but uh, it did uh, work as good as I thought. Um, it is pretty nice and... I guess that nice luscious look now. So yeah, the only concern that I have is engine heat, um, but they do ceramic coating on brake calipers and have no issues, right? So I'm thinking I'm applying the same concept. It shouldn't have any issues at all. So, uh, but I'll give you an update later on um, if I have any issues or, but you'll see more engine bay photos and videos of it. So um, if there are any issues, you guys will know anyways firsthand. Um, before I close off the video, uh, you guys, I'm just going to give you an update on my uh, uh, last video. I started up the car and absolutely a nightmare, you guys. Um, the car will not idle. Despite I looked online, I referenced uh, a lot of car groups and stuff. Um, some say you don't need um, retuning. Sometimes uh, some guys are saying you do. Um, you definitely do. Uh, I called AMS and I called Adam and I also reached out to Tim Bailey, uh, renowned GTR cop tuner. And he did say when he first originally started tuning it years ago with our large throttle bodies, he was unsuccessful. That's not good to hear, but he said, because now with, uh, more time progressed, uh, guys are able to tune them and uh, Amos was uh, graciously uh, very supportive and they sent me the files but unfortunately the files were locked and uh, other calibrators couldn't uh, look at the files so I'm just waiting for them to send me the files on Monday and hopefully we can get this car started up so what happened if you're wondering is when I started the car up I was expecting it to jump up to like 2200 and then go down and you know the ECU will figure it out and get it to uh, at least to idle but it would not idle it'll rev up to like 4500 and drop down 4500 drop down and the crappy thing was it was scary you guys like I'm here again like like today all by myself in the bay and you know you you cold start and it's expected but when it revved up to 4500 it was some crazy crap man i thought it felt like the car was going to explode and yeah absolutely turned it off right away and ever since then i didn't start it up um if you guys are considering going large throttle bodies you guys i don't honestly i don't recommend it um it is a lot of headache but i'm hoping the rewards are worth it because they do um, look beautiful and Adam I was going to kind of contemplate on going back to the stock throttle bodies 
because um, Adam said, if I had the stock throttle bodies, I wouldn't have this issue. It just that big influx of air, the stock ECU does not know how to compensate and doesn't know what to do. And uh, luckily, I have AMS and Tim Bailey and Adam working on it and uh, confident that we'll have a solution. Um, it's just kind of stressful because we have a couple of events coming up right quickly and then hopefully you can get the car back up and running. Um, just got to have a lot of people depending on me and expecting the car to be there at the show. So hopefully uh, that works out. But yeah, that's uh, just keeping you guys updated on the car and uh, that's why it's still at the shop here and not moving. But um, don't forget to uh, smash the subscribe button, you guys turn on the notification, okay? And uh, thank you for supporting the channel and we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. Yeah. Uh...